Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. This of course is 1814 Trady Head. I want to welcome all brand new subscribers to the page. I want to welcome back all current subscribers. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, and turn your notification bell on for new videos almost daily. We're going to be bringing in a news article that's coming in from TMZ. And as always, I'll read a little bit of the article. We're going to discuss it. I'll put the link below so that you can read the article for yourself and to view the video footage that is attached to this video. All right. It says a Costa Rican man on video shooting his neighbor dead after they had a heated argument. The video itself is considered graphic by TMZ standards. So please take that into consideration just in case you have some kids that you may not want to see this. A neighbor dispute turned deadly in Costa Rica after a man opened fire on another guy and the horrific moment was caught on video which shows the killing. In the harrowing surveillance footage from earlier this week that's making the rounds, two neighbors and their respective wives are seen getting into an argument, yelling at one another from their adjoining homes in the city of Escarzu. The, disagree the disagreement moves to the front yard where the two parties continue to hurl words back and forth. And that is where I'm going to stop reading because there's no need for me to read all of it. I want you guys to read it for yourself as well. Not to mention there is going to be a couple of cities and such and names and such that I may not be able to pronounce and I don't want to mess those names up. However, I will say this. Um, I did get a chance to watch the video and I went back and I watched it the second time and I just want to make sure that I saw the first time is what I saw the second time and you will when you get to, when you start watching the video you will see the the one woman that's coming out arguing with another woman from a distance but their homes are directly adjoined they're they're almost like they're connected and then her husband comes out or her boyfriend whomever he is to her and you'll see him trying to hold her back just a little bit. But at the same time, you're going to notice something. He had a gun. And he made sure that he... I'm thinking he must have forgot that there was a video camera. Because you see him take the gun out and he's getting the gun ready. So that all he has to do is just start shooting it. And the safe, So I'm thinking he took the safety off. And then he put it back in the front part of him. When the other woman that she was arguing with came from her distance, she came closer. They, the two women were still arguing. The men started arguing because the man came out with her. The man from a distance came to the other man and he threw the first punch. When he started throwing the punch, the man that had the gun pulled his gun out and started shooting immediately. So it would be second degree or some could say premeditated. Actually, it may, it may end up being considered premeditated depending on how their laws are because you clearly see him with a gun. He already had it on him. He got it ready. So, And when he started shooting, that means he, he took the safety off of it uh, from what I'm looking at, the way that I'm looking at it. And he started shooting and he kept shooting and he killed the neighbor until the man was dead. He shot like, what, I think like four or five times. You just hear a pow, 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 pow. And you hear the woman screaming. Now, the reason I wanted to do this article is I have had many arguments with my neighbors in this neighborhood that I'm currently living in. And we've been in this house for over 30 years. And the neighbors that don't seem to care for me or my mom or my family, these are neighbors that don't like us only because we keep to ourselves. We don't bother anyone. We don't go to their homes. We, we will say hello if we need to say hello or goodbye or whatever, but that's as far as it goes. Other than that, we don't communicate because we know how people can be. And some of the neighbors, they don't like that. So what they did was, the ones that are close to us, they try to go into bully mode. They want to have their kids run in your yard, mess up your plants, mess up whatever they can. And then when you say, you need to stay out of my yard, you need to stay across the street, then they want to try to turn it into more than what it is. So I've had these heated arguments. I've been out in the street waiting for someone to put their hands on me. I've been threatened with everything. I've been threatened by boys. I've been threatened by men. I've been threatened by women. I've been threatened by lesbians. Yes, you heard me. The lesbian who used to live in front of us. She was mad because her kids can't come over and mess up in my yard. I told them to stay out of my yard and leave my stuff alone. They went and told her. Obviously, she thought she was a man, but when I went outside and I made it clear, uh, you're going to be a man, then I will treat you like a man, 
and nothing ever became of it. She gets on the phone. She calls her friends. I called a few people as well. Mine outnumbered hers and she backed off. Eventually she got kicked out of the house because she couldn't pay her bills and that's another story. The moral of this is this. We all have choices and the choices we make can be our final choices if we are not careful. In my crazier days, I was that one who would go out in the street to meet you. I was that one that you, if you dared me to come outside, I'm going outside. These are the kind of choices that can take your life because you don't know what the other person has for you. They may or may not have a gun. They may or not have a knife. They may or may, may, they may, or may not have something that can end you, is what I'm saying. So thankfully, as I've gotten older, I don't do a lot of that arguing and stuff anymore. You just call the police because that's what they're, that's what they're paid for. That's what your taxes are for. And you have the police deal with it. Or you, ha you get in touch with the mayor's office. And you have the mayor's office intervene with the police to take care of the situation. Because that's what we did. And uh, we haven't had too much of any issues when we started following things the right way. The wrong way was me going outside, getting ready to fight someone, and ready to knock somebody's head off because they think they're going to bully me or they're going to scare my mom or they're going to run my home. And when they saw that none of it would work, then I started getting older and older and older. And I'm like, I can meet you. I can meet you outside. I'm waiting for you to jump on me. You've been jumping on me for over 20 years. Um, and this is a Puerto Rican guy who lives across the street, one house over. He's like the street bully. And I'm one of the ones that he can't bully. Um, but neither here nor there. It's all about the choices that we make and what we're going to do. And thankfully, I've gotten older. I don't do that anymore. Call the police. I contact the mayor's office. Get everything involved the right way. They take care of it. And it has died down to the point to where we don't have these issues anymore because they know that we now have a connection with the police, the sheriff's office, and the mayor's office. Not to mention I used to work at the mayor's office, so I had a few connections in there that I can work in my favor that they didn't know that I have. Now, in this case, I don't even need to know what they were arguing about. I'm sure that a gun was not needed. However, I know that someone will see the video and they will say, well, Dreddy, it's self-defense. He had every right to defend himself. Well, you brought a gun to a hand fight, a fist fight. And I'm thinking the only reason you would have the gun is because you know that you don't know how to fight. So you use the gun to fight for you. Hopefully he's a licensed carrier. Um, I'm sure that they will look at it as self-defense because the man did put his hand on him first and we see where that goes. This is 1814 Dreadyhead. I want you guys to watch the video. Watch it carefully. You may have to watch it a second time. And then you come back and tell me how do you feel about this because sometimes all these arg all these arguings and stuff when it comes to neighbors and property and and I kept seeing them I kept seeing them point towards the yard so I'm thinking there was there must be a property line dispute of some kind because a couple of times it was like they were pointing towards the yard it's like you know you stay on your side I stay on my side type of a deal I'm thinking that could have been the gist of what maybe some of that was about by the way that they were pointing but at the end of the day it's not worth losing your life over. It really isn't. This is 1814 Dreddy Head. I'm going to put the link below so that you can watch the video and you let me know what you think after viewing the video and reading the article. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.